Leah Michelle apologized yesterday for the way she acts on set. Allegations against Leah Michelle are continuing to come to light. She was unprofessional. Definitely. On the set. Definitely. You may remember the huge backlash that the Glee star Leah Michelle faced after tweeting in support of George Floyd and the BLM movement in June this year. After Leah's tweet, several of her former co-workers replied to her and shared the horrible experiences they had with her in the past. The conflict ended up in Leah losing a brand partnership with HelloFresh, and later on she issued an apology that left many people unsatisfied for having come a little too late. And this is not the first time that people have complained about Leah's behavior. Accusations against her go way back to the beginning of her career. Leah herself admitted once, I came from a theater world where the word diva was awesome. But rather than diva, the word that her former colleagues used to describe her is unpleasant. But what did Leah have to do in order to get so much hatred from her former co-workers? Here is the real reason why Leah Michelle is so hated. Leah's career started on Broadway when she was only eight years old. She had roles in musicals like Les Miserables, Ragtime, and Spring Awakening. When all the accusations about her came to the surface, a woman named Elizabeth Aldrich tweeted, I was Leah Michelle's understudy in Ragtime. She was absolutely awful to me and the ensemble. She demeaned the crew and threatened to have people fired if she was in any way displeased. I used to cry every night from the mean and manipulative things she would do. She was 12 and she was terrifying. And this is not the only time pre-Glee that Leah's behavior made her colleagues complain. Gerard Canonico, who worked with her on Spring Awakening from 2006 to 2008, said that she was a nightmare to work with. According to him, Leah always made him and his colleagues feel like they didn't belong there. Another one of the accusations from their time in Spring Awakening comes from Sonia Harcourt, who tweeted, I worked merchandise at Spring Awakening on Broadway and can confirm she is one of the nastiest people I've ever met, unless she deems you important. Leah was also mean to photographer Patrick McMullen. In 2010, at the Time 100 Gala, the photographer approached Leah to take a picture and then asked her name. Leah supposedly rolled her eyes, annoyed because he didn't know who she was, and told him she was Sarah Palin, and then Taylor Swift. Leah was heavily criticized for this, but then she apologized through Twitter and said it had only been a joke that didn't land well. Actress and singer Haley Steinfeld also remembers trying to get Leah's autograph when she ran into her while auditioning for True Grit. She was in the same lot that Glee was being filmed, and according to Haley, she saw Leah walking to her trailer and tried to talk to her, but Leah just walked by. After that, a guy came and told Haley, sorry, now's not a good time. Haley recalls being so sad that she was practically crying on the way home. However, most of the complaints against Leah come from her colleagues at the Glee set, not only from her co-stars, but also from the background actors and crew members. Leah has been accused of snapping her fingers at people and hurrying them up, saying, let's go, I have plans. Twitter user at Angela Sauceda posted, been telling people this for years. I worked with her once. She literally would only speak to me through her assistant, just not addressing my presence. She was two feet away. Another person who worked as a background actress on Glee said that Leah referred to all background actors as cockroaches. A woman by the username at Dearbina said her father worked as a crew on Glee and she shared a story that is almost too hard to believe. Leah Michelle is not nice. My dad worked on the crew on that show and she was the first person in line for craft services. She tasted the soup, made a face, spit it back directly into the pot and said it was disgusting and walked away while the whole crew was waiting behind her to eat. To finish off the complaints about Leah's horrible attitude, actor Keith Powell tweeted, I co-sign on this. Leah Michelle is a terrible human and has said terrible things to many different types of people, including microaggressions too about black people. However, a few of Leah's co-stars jumped in her defense. Dean Geyer, who played the role of her boyfriend in season four of Glee, said, Leah is still one of my favorite co-stars that I have had the pleasure of working with. She's extremely hardworking and super fun to be around. Another source who chose to remain anonymous shared their experiences when working with her. She may not be the nicest person, but she's not I would say she has behavioral issues that she's dealing with. So what's the real story? How do the rest of the castmates feel? There was a particularly harsh conflict between Naya Rivera and Leah that apparently began when Naya's character Santana started to become more and more important in the series. According to Us Weekly, Naya and Leah were always, always icy to each other, and there was a lot of sighing and eye rolling between them. When David Letterman asked Leah about this, she said that things had become overblown by the media and that the way people like to pit women against each other is really annoying and it's sad. It's built into the foundation of your life. Well, I mean, honestly, it's just really frustrating. 
I think that the way that people like to pit like women against each other, not mm. to get so serious, but it's it's really annoying and it's really sad. And right. you know, um, for me, I, if there were ever really a fight, a cat fight on the show, you'd know about it because I'd get like a ring and I put Jello in it and I would make it like fun for everyone and sure. it'd be super hot. So. <laughs> However, in her book, Sorry Not Sorry, Naya said that Leah didn't like sharing the spotlight, and she also explains her side of the story. It seemed like she blamed me for anything and everything that went wrong. Naya sadly passed away in July 2020, and Leah paid homage to her through her Instagram stories, where she shared three black and white pictures of Naya and Corey Monteith, who is Leah's Glee fellow star and boyfriend, who died seven years before Naya. In May this year, Leah tweeted in support of the BLM movement, and later on, her former Glee co-star Samantha Ware quoted her tweet and said, Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Cause I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. Samantha received the support of many members of the black community, who pointed out the hypocrisy of tweeting in favor of the BLM movement while having accusations of discriminating against black people. After this, Amber Riley also tweeted a gif of herself raising her hand and sipping tea, which some interpreted as if she was agreeing with what was being said about Leah. Then Heather Morris, another Glee co-star, tweeted that, while Leah was definitely unpleasant to work with, it was not the wisest thing to assume she's a Shortly after all these accusations came to the surface, Leah posted a public apology on her Instagram profile, where she said that she had never judged anyone for the color of their skin and that whether it was my privileged position and perspective that caused me to be perceived as insensitive or inappropriate at times, or whether it was just my immaturity and me just being unnecessarily difficult, I apologize for my behavior and for any pain which I have caused. However, for some people, the apology came too late. Gerard Canonico also pointed out Leah's use of the word perceive and commented, maybe actually apologize instead of placing the blame on how others perceive you? There are more than enough testimonies that back up the accusations against Leah and her bad behavior. But while many people were aware of Leah's diva attitude, for others, it comes as a shock. In interviews, Leah is most of the time sweet and smiley, and her strength and self-confidence are admirable in an industry that has the reputation of destroying the self-esteem of child stars. But whether she's actually a bad person or she's just incredibly arrogant, Leah has undeniably learned a lesson. Let's hope she changes her attitude in the future and teaches her newborn son, Ever Leo, to lead with kindness. Do you think that Leah deserves all the hate she gets? Let us know what you thought in the comments.